Hello! It's time to work on assembling smog. So first off, we're going to start off, part, we're going to work on his head. Just figuring out how to put them together. Welcome to another hobby hangout with me, KC. <laughs> We're going to work on assembling smog today. So I'll start with the tip of his nose, his head right here. Feel free to go ahead and chat. Say hi, let me know that you're here. And if you have any questions, please put them in chat, let me know, and I'll get you know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm keeping an eye on the chat. So this is the smog model. Sorry about that. This is the smog model for from Games Workshop for Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. Uh, yesterday, last night's stream, I went through an unboxing and started cleaning up the model. The model is all cleaned of mold lines, and I gave it a little scrub bath to make sure all the uh, the resin mold release agent it was removed. If you don't do that, the glue will not set right and you can't glue the model together correctly. So now he's all cleaned up and ready to be assembled. So in this, for tonight, I'm going to work on putting them together and hopefully get started on some putty work. To fill in the unsightly gaps that this guy's got. Usually when I paint models I go ahead where they're going to attach and I just kind of do a scour a score the area with my hobby knife just to give it some texture on the flat surfaces so the glue can glue to it, adhere to it, excuse me. So it's just kind of a cross cutting. I'm using Bob Smith Industries InstaCure the gap filling medium glue it sets in 5 to 15 seconds so it's really good I like using it it's a, the gel so it's a little thicker helps fill in the gaps unlike the uh, very thin paint that just goes all over the place everywhere that you don't want it to go to all right, so there's his head. What a pretty little guy. Look at that smug, that little mug. I want to reach out and give him a kiss. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and set that aside so it can set. And we'll move on to the next piece. I'll 
camera, I have a good box that has the uh, instructions on it. Um, you look it over to the side to get that. Torso. He's a big guy, big fella. There's his neck. A lot of spiky bits on it. It doesn't even fit in the frame. And then right there at the end, that's where his head will be. <laughs> that's not all of it. That's a big, he's a big fella. He's going to be very fun. Let's see what else do I need? I need the spikes. This is... I went ahead and left them on the um, the sprue that it came on, so I don't lose any of the bits while I washed it. So I'm gonna clean it off now. Little chip. Which ones go where here? Spot T. All right. Okay, so it looks like this piece right here will go on the body, and these other two will go on his neck. So I got my clippers here. I'll trim that right off. Making sure I don't cut the any of the important details on the model. <laughs> a little bit later. Alright. Get my file. Clean the end that I cut. Go ahead and do the other one. <coughs> Excuse me. He has other little tiny, tiny spikes further down on his body that I left on the sprue, so I'll be cleaning those off when I get to him. So I'm just going to do a quick score, scour. No. 
on it. So it doesn't have that smooth piece. So there's the grooves that I'm adding with the knife helps the glue adhere better. I'm doing some dry fitting to see where the actual mop, the piece will go. Oh, it needs to actually fit in here good. Might have to use the hair dryer then. Oh, nope, that fits in there. Okay. So, this glue dries really fast, but once I apply it on there and get to where I want the area to sit. I'll, I won't touch it for a good few minutes just to make sure it does set right because if it starts to dry and then you move it you're going to break the bond and you have to re-glue it. Just a little bit goes a long way. Don't need to add a whole lot of glue. Hold it for a few seconds make sure it's sealing. Ah, the loveliness of live streams. Get to see me do all my mistakes. Hopefully, in this video, I won't glue the pieces to my fingers. But if I do, that'll be a nice, nice laugh. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit. Should be okay. Hopefully. I might have to use the hair dryer to warm it up, mold it. We'll see if this will work. Apologize for the noise. Alright. So what I did is I was holding it and bending it with my thumb. I was adding pressure. I did a the hair dryer at high to soften the resin and then I quickly did it uh, switched it to low air to cool it and it still had some glue on there so it did it did hold but I'm gonna leave it alone for now 
and let that dry. So now we're going to come over here and add the back spikes to the to the torso right here. Score right in here. So the spikes will fit right on it. Like so. I'm not going to completely assemble him. So I want to be able to reach certain areas like with his wings. I think I'm going to leave those off. And I'm not going to attach them to the base. Just so I can get to all the areas easily. But we'll see. I'll see how the wings fit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the spikes are on there. Get that piece on there. Now there's enough connection that this will fit without having to pin it. And then putting putty on it will help um, strengthen it. But yeah, you can just see the dry fitting it, you can just see the gaps. But it's not that bad. I've seen far worse. I'm looking for something off, off camera here. And I don't see it. Okay. The same with the head. There's a lot of surface for the glue. And this one, he's, when I'm done with him, he's mainly going to be a display piece. I may or may not play games. If I do, it's, I'm not going to go to a game store or convention with him. I may, depending on how it is, I think I will enter it into some competitions. Just because he's so cool and I'm, I, uh, I want to show it off. <laughs> so, all right. Try fitting the head on here to see if it fits. And there's some areas that I need to trim off or file so it fits in there right. So this right here, I need to trim that up down a bit. This probably should have been to <laughs> just the spikes. I should have done that before I put it on there. Oh well. some new music playing tonight through the uh, pretzel rock pretzel rocks um, app so far I'm liking it in the chat it pops up what the songs are and you can click on the link if you like it. So 
I'm doing here is just smoothing out the area, the connection pieces, so that head can fit in there. A little bit better than it was. There we go. Grr, hard. And we're set. So we'll go ahead and glue his head on here. These pieces right here are not broken pieces. It's actually how the sculpt is. So, good old Smog has seen some uh, some battle in his day. The sculpture of this model is just so so beautiful, so fantastic. I'm looking forward to painting him up. So, took me a while to build up the courage to do it. He'll definitely be the biggest model I've ever worked on. And a little more confident with the airbrush. I'll be using that on this guy, so I'm very excited. And that will be next week on Tuesday, on a Tuesday, from 7 to 9 Central Standard Time, I begin painting the beast. So. Very cool. Alright, so we're going to let that set a bit. Start working on the next stage. Tuesday! On a Tuesday, paint begins! Hello, Justin! How are you? Welcome, welcome! King in yellow. The yellow king? Is that the the one that you sent me the picture for earlier? Cool. Looking forward to seeing the end result on that guy. Alright, so we got this foot. This foot. We got a foot. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oops. I said it before and I'll say it again. Your painting is improving. Each piece is next step. And you're getting much better. Especially with my help. to be painting this guy. This is a hill giant golem from Reaper Bones. I'm going to be painting up and taking a video of him for
for my Patreon on how to paint skin tones. So I'm excited to get to work on him. So I think I'm going to do some putty work on him while I'm also working on Smog tonight. I'm going to need a base because he's holding that big old club off to the side. So I need to get a base for him. Oh, I'm just looking off, off camera. Let's put that foot on there. Man, I waited too long. Glue dried on him. That's side trap. Alright. Yeah, he looks good. I'm looking at the picture right now that you sent me. Did you um, prime it yellow, or or is that the the yellow plastic or resin that you used for him? All right, let's go ahead and glue on. I need some something to prop this up. Hold on one second. Hold on, we're gonna get something to prop up the body. Paint handles. These will work. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. The, the Cthulhu game that I would like to check out with you. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to have to use bracing for it. But like I said, there's a lot of uh, surface for the glue to adhere to, so I don't think I need. I'm going to need to pin it. Hopefully. So we'll see. And if it starts to fall apart. I'll try not to swear too loud. Cross our fingers. See if this works. I need a 
that up. sit there and let it dry for a few minutes. It says nets to add the leg. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh my goodness. Thankfully this glue dries fast, so we'll see. Time for a drink. This right here, it's the actual gap. So I'm gonna have to fill that in. Oh wait, no, it's coming apart. Shoot. No, you're not supposed to do that. Fine. Be that way, stinker. No, I do not have an activator spray with this. I don't really need it, need it for this. I just need to hold it in place and it dries pretty fast. I just think there's not enough surface right there. Yeah, I probably should have went and got some today just to be on the safe side. for the camera. <laughs> Sigh of relief. I think it's holding. Alright. So now we have nuts part. Yeah, that's the tail. The tail is in three pieces. That's crazy. That is crazy. Alright. And here I have a bunch of little spikes that I need to add on to it. I'm going to set him up here, off camera, out of my way, and let that set before I'm ready. Oh my 
crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so I need the little spikes. Frames. Oh, this is for the wings. These are on the wings. Oh my goodness. Alright, so these are the spikes to go on its tail. I just need to find out where they go. <laughs> This one goes on that guy. The music seems to cut out. Did the music cut out? Oh, okay. It just ended. I'm just trying to figure out where the spikes go. Hold on a minute, guys. Oh. I actually looked on the the frames it says where they go <laughs> that's for the body the tail base and the mid tail and then the tail tip I was looking at it this way very smart thank you for doing that the part for the spikes here. So I'm guessing that's what they're calling this, is the mid-tail. Over here, these two areas. do some dry fitting to see where we go. Alright, just like that. always good to dry fit just to know where 
how you're putting them together before you put the glue on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the end tail on here. The inside in here is needs to be cleaned out a bit. to make sure the pin, the nub here, fits in the tail. And I'm tempted to pin this. pinning stuff. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to pin it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this little nub. Smooth. Well, the other end. a uh, push pen to make an indent in the model where I'm going to start drilling. Now the whole point of pinning is to add strength to pieces. So I'm going to drill a hole with this little mini pin vise, stick a piece of wire into it about that far and then on the other end drill a hole and do the same thing about that far so it just adds a support gives it some more support to hold on to So I just lined it up to that little pinhole I used, and then I'm just rotating the, the pin vise and drilling into the model. The resin is pretty soft, so it's pretty easy to 
drill into. Plastic is good too. Metal can be can be a pain because <laughs> it's metal. All right, so now I'm gonna check the depth. So I'm using my thumb up against the pin. Let's loosen it first. All right, and I'm gonna pull it out. That's how far it's drilled into it. So from my thumb to the end, that's pretty pretty far in there. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my wire. And this is just a wire that I picked up at a craft store, Michael's, in their, uh, the beading net, the necklace for making necklaces. So that's how long it's gonna be. I'm actually gonna drill further in there because I want it pretty long. So I'll be right in there. And it doesn't take long to drill into it. Yeah, it's it's solid. That should be fine. Now with the end of the wire, I'm going to use my file and just kind of rough it up so that glue can stick to it. It's not a smooth surface. I'm gonna they're two long pieces so I'm gonna have a longer pen than what I would normally do and it just adds more strength to it so to line it up so that's how the pieces are gonna fit I just gently press into it to make a little bit of an indent so I can see where I'm going to put the indent. Double check. So whenever you're assembling or doing pinning and stuff, always, always dry fit, double check, triple check and then glue once. That way you know it's going to be kind of fit together. So I just line up the, the, the end of the drill right into the hole and just slowly rotate it and it drills right into it. You don't want to press too hard because you can actually snap these pins. They're pretty. And I got stuck in the model. So I'm just gently wiggling it, to loosen it, unscrewing it. Just want to make sure I don't snap this. Because otherwise, you get. I don't know if you can see it. You get a snap. That was actually a small 
drill bit. We're very fine. Alright. I just need to dr drill it some more. Or I can cut it, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill it some more. I just want to make sure it's strong enough to hold. This is not very heavy, but I want to have that extra strength on the tail to be on the safe side. I like to use the pin vise. It's a little bit slower, but I have more control over it than using a Dremel tool or a hand tool. Because using the Dremel tool or the hand tool, yeah, it may be faster, but it can warm up the piece, especially if you're doing it on metal. On the Peter Metal, it'll warm up the piece and you can burn yourself. Or you can go through too fast and actually drill right into the model. Right through it, I should say. You are drilling into it. Right through the model. Yeah, and that's not a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and snip off a bit of this. There. Nice and easy. And I'll use putty to fill that in and smooth it out. So I'm gonna put some glue on the the wire and around it. And before it sets, I'm gonna make sure it's lined up as best as possible. I'm just adding pressure to it and holding it for a while just to make sure it does set. And there we go. This part of the tail, it doesn't, it's not a complete smooth transition, but I can file that and add some putty to smooth it out. <laughs> that is the tail. So here's the back, the rest of the tail. So we're gonna go ahead and put the spikes on that. Set the tail to the side. I just don't have enough space on my table for this guy. So a little bit of introduction to how I pin things there. It's kind of nice with the live streams because I can, if someone has a question, I can show it right away or show the little tips. It's like, yep, that's not working, so let's do this. I'm thinking for a future uh, stream, Justin, I want to know what your thoughts are on this, of prior to it, doing a paint -a stream where I'll paint the model, I'll let people know in advance, this is the model I'm going to paint, if you want to follow along and ask questions during the stream, you can do that. That might be a nice way to include the community. Kind 
of like what we were doing side by side at your place. But this might open up for people on the stream. Like maybe announce it in advance, like maybe two, four weeks, like in a month. All right, this month we're going. I'm going to paint this guy, this model. And if you want to paint along with me during the streams, you have till the end of the month to pick up the model. And we can get started on it then at that at that point. And they don't have to do it right along with the stream. They can always come back and watch the stream later if they want. I've seen it done where people uh, miniature mark, uh, not miniature mark. Miniature Monthly was doing that with actual videos. I thought it'd be neat with a stream, more interaction. That's a possibility. be over a course of a month or so of painting it depending on the size of the model okay in this stream we're going to work on the skin tones or the, the cloth paint along with me and ask me questions or have a Facebook group or something for that where they can post their pictures work in progress pictures and then I can look at it maybe on my on the stream and say yep this, you can do some more work here or that looks perfect um, figure that out Spiky bits. I'm not sure what that's on. Changing the song. There we go. Hey Justin, how's the music? Can you hear it okay? It's at right level volume. It's not too loud. Oh, good. I also have the speakers on and I have it turned on so I can actually hear it too. I'm liking it. Also has all these little spikes right here. 
I'm trying not to poke myself with those or break them off for that matter. got this part done. So I'll set him aside. Back to this beast part. Alright, last spike. Goes on to the body. This part, I'm. I can't do this and twist it. He's got more of a bit in here to line it up. I think I'm going to have to do some green stuff, two-party potsy, along with the plastic putty. So that should be fun to do. Coochie goo. I'm just filing off the ends to try to get more of a smooth connection here. Too, just to add more strength. I shouldn't have to. Alright. Now I'm seeing what the problem is. This bit right here is hanging down, so I'm going to snip part of that, smooth it out so it lines up better. It's 
try. Sorry if it's off camera. He's just too darn big. That's the farthest I'm going to go out with the camera. He's just so... He's just too darn big. Once I have it all assembled, I'll take some pictures of it and post it on my Facebook and Twitter. So you can see the size of it. And then tomorrow, I'm not going to do this on streaming or anything, but tomorrow I'm going to uh, go ahead and prime it and let that fully set before I start painting it. I might do a before Tuesday, I might do um, it is a miniature painting channel. I haven't got there yet. This is assembly work. Smart Alec. That's why in the I'm not gonna show how to prime it. I might do the base coat also offline. I'll be doing a I'll do a video about uh, how to prime and everything. Hey Thomas, how you doing, sir? Welcome. Blowing together the big beastie. Glad you can make it.
cold and make sure it dries. <laughs> Thank her. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to put a pin through this guy just to hold it. All right. None of the areas is sticking. We get to pin this as well. One of how many of the Rust Stalkers? Tom? Two. One of two. So in Kill Team, is it all um, five men units, or does it depend on which uh, which army you're using? We'll set that part aside. For this one, I'm going to put in two pins. A hundred points? Okay, so you go by a point limit, not a model count. So with this part, because it's not really sticking, it doesn't match up right with the glue, I'm just adding some pins. I'm going to add some pins to give it more strength, which is probably a good idea. So I'm not doing two. Two pins for it. Yes, he is absolutely terrifying, but he's fun. No. Glue. <laughs> I'm using Bob Smith Industries Instacure Plus Gap Filling Medium Glue. It sets in about 5 to 15 seconds. And the, this is just um, wire for necklaces and that I picked up at Michael's. It'll roll of it. You can use brass rods too, but that's what I have. I like using the thin wire like this. I can bend it. Tack pin to make my to 
pinholes, spot holes, where I'm going to add the pins. Alright. See this, I just did a little indentation with the thumbtack. Trying to line it up with the pen vise. Double check and make sure it lines up. It's a big model. If he stretched it out, I think it comes out to be three feet if you stretched it out from head to tip of tail. It's all curved and everything around. But yeah, it's a big model. I had the longer pins out so I could see how it lines up. So now, let's see if my genius will work. Should have done this the other way. Yeah, I'll we'll do this a different way. There's a method to my madness. I get the holes. A little bit bigger. Alright. So instead of having the pins into that body, I'm going to put them into this part. Yes, 
Merlin was a very cool show. Hello, Nathan. How are you doing today? Yes, the dragon on that was voiced by John Hurt. I lost my pens. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool movie, a uh, cool show. I really, uh, my wife and I really enjoyed that. All right, Justin, thanks for joining. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah, base coat's not fun. Oh, I didn't line that up right. See if this will work. Please work. The holes aren't lining up. I know what I'll do. Doing this on the fly, guys. <laughs> Uh, this is Games Workshop. This is the smog model for um, the Middle Earth strategy battle game from The Hobbit. From The Hobbit movies. It's a big model. Uh, this is the second part of working on this. Last night I did an unboxing and prep work, cleaning up all all the pieces and tonight I am assembling it and hopefully if I have time which I don't think I will this has still got some more pieces um, I'll have it all fill in the gaps here but right now I'm just doing assembly uh, gluing it together and this part right here is taking me a little bit longer than I expected so hold on a minute guys All right, I'm gonna switch out. This is a very expensive model too. It was almost five hundred dollars. I'm gonna fill the gaps with the two-part epoxy putty, Lord Bunt. Birch, Lord Birch. It's a uh, you know green stuff. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm gonna use. It's a two-part modeling putty. Thank you, Thomas, for posting the link up there. So I'm gonna use this. It's two-part epoxy putty. This is a aluminum and a brown. And you take a little bit of each, mix it together to get a solid color, and you just push it into the gaps and smooth it out. I'll be doing that. I'll go ahead and I'll do that on the next stream, which will be next Tuesday. Excuse me.
what I'm doing right now is I'm finding a bigger drill bit. Just to make the the holes in here bigger so I can line up the, the pins better. Yeah, it's a it's a very very nice model. So when you do, you can come back and check out how to do it, <laughs> how to put it together. And how to paint. I'm going to also be, be start painting might end up being next week. Next Thursday is when I'll start painting them. So on Tuesday stream, I'll do the gap filling. I gotta let that, and then when that's done, I gotta let it fully cure for at least overnight, 12 hours. And with that modeling putty, you can sculpt it and add detail and everything. Very cool. All right, so now I have a much bigger drill bit here. And I'm just going to go in and make these holes bigger. Hoping this will work. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. I assure you, I know what I'm doing. And, yep, sure enough, I made the holes different. Didn't line them up. All right, so let's let's line these up. I'm gonna take some red paint, add some red paint onto the tip of the pins, and then press it together just to show where I'm going to drill the holes. I use red paint; it's a little easier to see if the paint will come out. Hold on. So I just press it together. <laughs> Bent the wires. Ah. All part of the show, guys. All part of the show. Uh, it's about the same. I also have the GW doing stuff. It's just a different brand. The putty I showed was Privateer Press's putty. So either one will work. So I press two, two parts together to show where my pins will be. So I was pretty close. So this one and then right there. So as I drop the tool. I just need to make those holes bigger. The putty I showed is it's a um, brown aluminum. I like that one better because it smooths out nicer. I find the GW green stuff, or Neatite, the blue and green, blue and yellow mixed together, you get a green, that's why they call it green stuff. I find it too rubbery, so it's kind of hard to sculpt into. 
but that's just my personal preference. So. If you get good results with green stuff, right on. So, so many products that pretty much do the same thing. So it's whatever, whatever you like better, whatever works for you, whatever's handy. All right, let's see if I can get this to line up. It's just not wanting to line up for me. I have a hard time lining up the pins. Hard to tell. There we go. <laughs> we got it. All right, so he's lined up. So now we're going to add some blue. Potatoes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Bunch. Welcome. Thank you for following me. I appreciate it. it holds the glue I'm using it does set really quick so I don't have to hold it forever Sometimes I wish I had more hands just to hold piece hold models together while it's setting. The Citadel paint handle comes in handy once again. I'm gonna use this to prop up the model. See, it's holding without me holding it. Sit there for a few minutes while it sets. And then I'll see if I can get this tail on there. It's getting to the point where I have no room on my my table here to put this model together. cut out. Uh, 
I think we might have lost the music. Hold on. There it goes. Music should come back on in just a second. Hold on. All right. I'm going to do the same thing and pin this to the end just to give it some more strength and stability. I'm not going to do two pins, I'll just do the one. So I use the, the thumbtack for the people who didn't see it before. Uh, just to make an indent where I'm going to you to start drilling roughly center in there the materials really is kind of soft it's resin yes I think I'm going to leave the wings off <laughs> um, I got the wings right here I'm going to attempt to attach it This is one wing. It's bigger than a hand. <laughs> and I have two of them. There's two of them. Yeah. And these are his uh, forearms, too, his front arms. picture yes he is he's really huge here's the base this is the base that he stands on this part has columns Has his hands on and his feet are here but he he overhangs it very big model in assembling it's got the assembly instructions on the side of the box yeah it's a diorama I'm still in step one of how to put it together and that's just the body all right so here's his head his neck <laughs> that's to the wing That's to the wing of the dragon. Yes, there's my hand. There's the wing. So, here's his head. The neck. There's the body. Or the torso one part of the tail and then here's the rest of the tail and then the last part so the tail is actually three pieces oh the tail curves back around I can't get it in the camera I'm sorry he will not come in, he will not be in the camera He is big. There's even a, a Bilbo. 
There's a Bilbo model that comes with it. That's Bilbo. Right there. <laughs> He's a tiny guy. So, to his head. <laughs> Easily just gulp him down. Trying to see if I had a, a Space Marine model that's roughly, you know, for size comparison. Music keeps cutting out. Right. This is roughly the size of a, of a normal size uh, model. about inch and a half tall. Yeah. He's a big fella. All right. I feel like I have a iguana pet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pin the end of the tail here. That squeaking sound is the uh, pin vise, if you can hear it. It'd be annoying. All right, the music keeps cutting out. I'm just trying to shut that off for now. Not sure why that's doing that, but we'll just cut out the music. I got roughly 12 more minutes of the string. No, I didn't. That's just that's just paint. <laughs> that was the uh, red paint that I was using on the pins to line it up on the body. This right here. That's I stabbed myself. So <laughs> that's an old wound. Oh, those Eschers are, are gorgeous models. I painted some of those up for uh, a friend to use in, at a store, a local game store, for demos. They were really fun to paint. If you haven't already, um, Nathan, Lord Birch, check out my Facebook page. And even my uh, Twitter page, the links are down below, and I'll show more of my work. So feel free to uh, like and follow those. You can get updates on what I'm working on. All right, so we're going to, what am I doing here? All right. We're doing some pinning. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Thanks once again to Thomas to adding that in there. He's my official, unofficial moderator. 
So I appreciate that. Have I sometimes get shaky hands too? Um, do you brace? I find the best way to help with shaky hands is to brace it up against the t your desk. And when you're about to, eat, or you know, either brace your elbows like this, when you're holding the model. to brace your palms together so you can paint like so yeah, brush right here. and um, also if you put your elbows down like this you can hold it up and, and see I think that works really well I've also picked up these little mouse pad beanbag type things. And I have it on my table, on my desk. And I use that to support my, my wrists. Yeah, moderator, tech, consultant, tech support. All the above. <laughs> yeah, the paint handles are really great. I have seven of them. <laughs> I think I'll be picking up another three, so I have a total of ten. But yeah, they're really nice. And the reason why I have about seven is the game store that I I happened to be at the local game store when they got their order in. And I'm like, oh, I got the money, so I picked up. First, I picked up five, then I picked up another two. So, all right, so I'm just using paint on the end of the the pen to show where I need to to drill. I'm going to use the bigger drill bit just to make a bigger hole, so I have enough wiggle room get in there. Jeez. Is it still playing music? Or is it just showing that it's playing? Okay. Well, I clicked on the the sound, but it's just not playing it. There we go. It could be the app that it was just having problems. Alright, so I'm going to attach the tail and then we'll call it done for now I have to cradle it. This is the end I'm going to glue the tail in. And I'm cradle the head and my, and my elbow. That's so funny. It's like holding a baby. A newborn baby. It's, uh... 
it doesn't come with the model. It's separate, and uh, I just bought the pieces. You can buy the drill bit, the drill, the pin vise is what it's called. And these are just this is just uh, wire that I got at uh, Michael's at a hobby at a hobby art craft store, and the wire was made for. It's designed to make uh, necklaces, but I find the wires really, really good. You can use paper clips too. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. But I'm using it just to add more support and stability to the construction of this guy because it's just so big. The tail has swooped back around and is about the shoulder to the shoulder length. I'm hoping this will glue. Yeah, brass rods work too. gonna fit. So I'll work on it in a bit, but I'm coming to the end of the stream, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the music for the moment. Alright, and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So I'll work on adding the tail in a bit. But thank you all for showing up for tonight. That's the end of this hobby hangout. Uh, my next stream will be next Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Same bat channel, same bat place. And I will continue on this big beastie. I'll be doing um, the putty work so you guys can see how that's done. So over the weekend, I'm going to finish assembling it so he's ready for the putty work. Thank you. Hope, hopefully you can too. <laughs> Thank you for following me and and joining in the chat. It's always nice. Otherwise, I just sit here and talk to myself. <laughs> but once again, thank you for coming in and joining. And hope to see you guys soon. You guys have a great rest of the night and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you hopefully on Tuesday. Bye now.